Oh, how are ya? Well, I want to talk about Zionism today. I watched not only a video with Mike Adams, and I don't know if I mentioned him last time in my last video, that he really spoke, spoke out against supporting Trump or Kennedy, which he did in the past, because of their affiliation with Zionism or the Zionist lobby. And so today I saw in which what he said about not supporting Trump and, you know, especially because of Israel, I absolutely agree with it. Totally can agree with Mike Adams on that. Because no, what Israel is doing against Gaza and even now Lebanon is wrong or in the cause of gaining greater Israel is wrong. There's no absolutely no doubt about it. But today he had an interview with Rick Wiles. And I have listened to Rick Wiles years ago, but I know Rick Wiles is um, is not really an end times Bible prophecy expert. He guesses around. I mean, he they mentioned the beast and all they he did is guess around. Oh, it could be Zionism. People, I have to stick with the truth. I cannot just guess things because I have a Zionist phobia. Okay? Because that's what he has. I don't know how he's, he got it, but he has a phobia in many things. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I, I did listen to him years ago and I stopped listening uh, to him simply because there's just too many errors in his thinking. And the one big error he mentioned here is, number one, he doesn't know anything about end times prophecy. He's not an expert, and all he does is guess. Oh, who could this beast be? Oh, it has to be Zionism. No, that's not who the beast is. Zionism did not come out of the empire of the Roman Holy or the Roman Empire. We have to go to the Bible. Daniel 7. There are four beasts. And the last beast is the beast out of the sea, which we then see again in Revelation 13. That's the beast out of the sea, the last beast of Daniel 7. And that beast, okay, is related to Rome. Because a beast is always a political system. There's no doubt. There are four empires, or at least during, um, no, there are four empires all that, that go all the way to the end. Now, the last beast was different than the first three. Why? Because the last beast had the horns. So this fourth beast transformed into a different kind of beast. And so we need to think about, okay, four beasts, Babylon, Persia, Greece, Rome, and then Rome transformed into the Holy Roman Empire. Hello? Can't be any other way if you look at it. So let's stick with this Roman beast that turned into the Holy Roman Empire that was wounded and then turned into the European Union after it was healed again. There's no guessing. Oh, it could be this and it could be that. No, Zionism is not an empire. And a beast is an empire. We have to stick with the truth. And of course, all he is, oh, it could be this. Oh, it could be that. Stick with the truth. That's the problem. Is because everybody thinks they have an opinion and everybody thinks they can interpret. 
No. There's only one truth, and we need to stick with the truth, and only one thing makes sense. So then the Roman Empire, the Holy Roman Empire, that's turned into the European Union, will last until Jesus returns. That's the beast out of the air, I mean the sea, that will be destroyed during the Armageddon War. We can confuse things. So now let's talk about, oh my goodness, Zionism phobia. I'm not denying that Zionism uh, is not doing some really bad things in this world. And I'm not denying that they were not used. Who were they used by? They're being used, people. The Jewish people are being used, our、oh, so-called Jewish people. Who can prove today that they are actually Jews? Of course, there are people that say, "Oh, a Jew is the one that lives by Judaism. That's a Jew, so anybody can be a Jew." I mean, we have to define things, right? But every Jew is not a Zionist either, and that's a fact too. So we cannot lump everything under one thing. And so, anti-Semitism is not necessarily anti-Zionism or whatever. There is no necessarily a relationship. Now, the Jews, many of the Jews, were hijacked, and somebody started Zionism and 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 put that on the Jews. And I'll tell you, a lot of Orthodox Jews do not like that label put on themselves. They don't even want to be associated with Israel. There's like a Jacob, just a,、uh, what's his name? Shapiro, Shapiro, I think is his name. He would not definitely appreciate it, and I think Finkelstein wouldn't either.、Uh, there is a lots of American Jews that do not appreciate being even affiliated with、um, with Israel, the state of Israel. And so we have to be extremely careful about the Zionism. Yeah, there is a thing called Zionism, a group of people that affiliate affiliate with this group called Zionism, and they say, "Oh, it's Jewish. It's about a homeland for the Jews." That's at least how it started out. But we need to also ask ourselves: Is that the real reason? Is that the real reason? When so many Jews have no idea to to want a homeland, and really, what was this state of Israel、um, founded for? Oh yeah, sure, we can have a an excuse. It was for the Jews, but even then, you have to think about these people that gave the land to the Jews to settle there, right? There were other people there already, and they made no provision. What will happen to those people that lived there for two thousand years? No provision. Oh, Jews, you can just come back and then do whatever you want. Kick the people out that were there before. No provision. Why not? Because they had no interest, the people that gave this land to the Jews, they didn't care. Matter of fact, did they purposely want that the people there are they called indigenous people would be killed? You know, the same way that the the Indians were killed. Yeah, United States, they had Indians all over, and what did the people do? The United, you know, the. American people that came over here from Europe, well, they just called the in in. I mean, killed the Indians and took their land away. Well, are we di- still doing the very same thing in Israel, because nobody cared. Obviously not. So yeah, they you know had this idea. Somebody came up. Who was it? Herzl. They came up with this idea of Zionism. Yeah, really. If it was Herzl, 
I am sure he was probably some somebody who somebody else used, like the Rothschilds. Because I know we know who really was the one that pushed everything through. I know this stuff with Herzl and First World War and all that kind of stuff. That the Jews would get a homeland. But don't forget, there were people living there. People lived there. Can you imagine you lived in an area and all of a sudden somebody, well, let's say some Indian supporters came, comes, came in and take your land away. Oh yeah, we're going to give this land America back to the Indians. And all the other ones need to get out of there or die. Same thing. That's what Actually, Zionism did. But let's go back to Zionism. What is the real reason? The real reason for Zionism. Why does Zionism need a greater Israel? It's not even based on the Bible. Because according to the Bible, the Jews lost their land anyways. I mean, they haven't uh, owned their land for 2,500 years. Even 500 years before they were kicked out the last time. That was in 70 AD. That's when they were kicked out of Judah. Okay? Not, not Israel. It wasn't Israel. It was Judah at that time. Because only the Jews returned from the captivity. They didn't own the land. The minute they were kicked out and went to Babylonian captivity, after that they lost the land. None of the Israelites had or owned the land after that. That was more than 2,500 years ago. And people are saying, oh, but God promised it to them. No, God promised it to them through a contract. And because of the contract, they had to comply with the terms. And if they didn't comply with the terms, they lost it again. So they lost it. Now, yeah, the land will always belong to the seed of Abraham, who is Jesus. And eventually Jesus will claim that land. There's no doubt. But nobody can claim it except Jesus, and he will do it. So no, the Jews cannot claim that land anymore because God kicked them out on purpose because they hoard. And they even rejected, as a nation, they rejected Messiah. And they say, oh, we got the land from God. Yet they reject God. And they want it back. I don't think that's possible. It's not going to work. So, okay, we got some history here. But again, what does that have to do with Zionism? Well, Zionism claims something that is not even biblical. They, can, they, they cannot even put one of their, uh, they cannot even stand on anything that they are claiming. It's a false claim of who knows who. They cannot claim the land, especially not under God's provision, since they rejected the Creator, God, the Father, and the Bible clearly says, if you reject the Father, you also, or if you reject the Son, you also reject the Father. And Christians need to understand that. Because where did I hear that? Netanyahu saying the Christians are the best supporters of Israel? Pretty sad. Pretty sad. Because these Christians are all really 
misled. And, and yes, Rick Wiles is right in that. Okay, we are very deceived. The so-called Christians, very deceived. But so is he. He's very deceived. He is talking about, oh, the rapture doesn't even exist. Well, what do you think is First Thessalonians 4 and many other verses? I did my study. I'm not just throwing things out because willy-nilly I want to. No, 1 Corinthians 15 and 1 Thessalonians 4 exist. And so does, let's say, Isaiah 26, 19 through 21 exists as well. So many verses exist. Jesus will return and pick up his bride. Okay, let's add John 15 to it. I think it's John 15 when Jesus said he's going to go to prepare a place. Or is it 14? And he'll come and pick his bride up when he's done. You think Jesus was um, lying? Yeah, Rick Wiles may know some political things. He may have acquired some uh, information, political facts, historical facts. I don't doubt it one bit. He, he uh, you know, bragged like he knew about Darby and how horrible Darby it was. Was it Darby or Schofield? I think it's Darby. It doesn't matter. As long as I know he's a liar and then go to the Bible and see what is really the truth. Because Rick Wise doesn't think he's doing that. Oh, I can focus on other wrongdoings of Darby. I don't care about Darby. What a life he's, he is wrong. Put him aside. Study the Bible. Find out what the truth is. And you know what Darby is, right? He is dispensationalism. Yeah? He said, oh, he probably got his information from a seance. No, he got the information from this book called Antichrist, written by a, a Francisco Ribera, a Catholic or a, a Jesuit professor in 1500. See, he didn't know that fact, but that's a very important fact. No, he didn't get it through a seance. Okay? And no, because I, I know that dispensationalism, dispensationalism is wrong, doesn't mean the rapture is wrong. It may be placed wrong. It may be defined wrong. Then please define it correctly. The event in 1 Thessalonians 4 is the rapture. Okay? That means a, a snatching out of the bride. That's what a rapture means. That's today how rapture is defined. A fast snatching out of of the bride. Matter of fact, even Luther defined it as that. Okay? That's how he translated it as Entrückung. It's the same word as rapture. So, yeah, how does that all relate to Zionism? Zionism is only being used, people. And, it's, and the Jews are being used. The Jewish identity is being used, and some Jews don't like that, or misused very much. Matter of fact, I have said in my videos that the Jews are being really slaughtered. Again, like the Holocaust, they don't even know it. They're offered to Baal and and sacrificed. That's the way I see it. Exactly the way I see it. And no, Zionists have nothing to do with a world empire. It's an organization that was formed by who? Who is ever but everything tied to? I talk about the pyramid of power, right? Okay, do you know what the pyramid of power is? It ends up with the all-seeing eye on top. And that's Lucifer. And who's underneath? Babylon the Great. I hope all, you know all these players. Who's underneath that? 
or you can call the beast system is underneath. Okay? Actually, <coughs> it's not the beast system. <coughs> Excuse me. The merchants are underneath. Bank system, the money, the families with the rich families are underneath. The rulers of this world are next. That's the beast system. And so where is Zionism in that whole thing? Well, Zionism is an organization, I think, like the um, the Freemasons or the Jesuits. Okay, that's what they are. They are a, a, a secret kind of organization. Actually, not that. They work in secret. That are doing the dirty work. Dirty work of who? Babylon the Great. And so because they have that goal to do the work, dirty work for the Pope, they are respected. Everybody knows whatever Zionists are doing, the orders they're getting are coming from the Pope anyways. That's why our government bows to them. Because they're, you can say, a secret organization, but their plans and their goals and their mission comes from Babylon the Great. From the Vatican, from G from uh, Lucifer himself. So, what is their plan for a greater Israel? Control the Middle East. That's all. And put down all the rebellious people in the Middle East. See, with Israel, the Israel government. Babylon the Great has an instrument of power, a military uh, instrument of power. And if the Jews are not waking up, well, they are not. They're just, all they're going to do is um, really uh, um, sacrifice the children on this altar. It's like they used to, you know, send their kids through the fires of Bel or Baal or Moloch. And they're still doing it. Because they're still idol worshiping. And they don't care. You know, we have a new form of idol worship today. But really, the same, I mean, they're, they're worshiping the same people. In the olden days, they worshiped, they think, they thought they worshiped these gods. And who was behind? Of course, Satan. Baal or Moloch or whoever they are. Jesus, I mean, uh, um, Lucifer was behind it. And the same thing today. What are they used? What what are the the Jews being used to for today? And they still don't get it. Still don't get it. Yes, Orthodox Jews in Israel they fight. They don't have to go to war, but they're being forced because they need people. And the thing is, in Israel, not only the boys are being pulled, but also the girls. And I have talked about that. I think Zionism and Jews are two different things. Jews are just being used in this Zionist movement. They're deceptive, you know, things that the way, I mean, they deceive the Jews would have been doing it for years. Oh, we cannot kill them, you know, through whatever. So now we're going to use them and have them killed that way, eliminate them that way. Or getting the whole world angry with the Jews so that way they can be 
eliminated. Now, where's all this stuff coming from? Of course, from Satan. Satan, really, because Satan couldn't do anything about Messiah coming forth. He can stop it. Israel, the, the, the true Israel of God, brought forth Israel. And so now he's just, you know, Satan is still going after kind of the children. Being He is being angry, so he's still trying to kill them. You know, people are screaming and saying, well, oh, always the Jews. But nothing I can do. Satan is doing it. If I'm not realizing, you know, where other stuff is coming from, nothing's going to change. They can kill all the enemies and it's not going to change because more enemies are going to come. Because this whole thing is not stopping. Why? Because it's coming from Satan. Satan wants to kill not just the Jews, he wants to kill all of humanity. And if we get stuck on, you know, Zionism uh, uh, phobia, that doesn't help anything either. We need to see the connectedness and then go after the people that are the criminals, like Bibi Netanyahu and his, uh, you know, um, political team. They have no interest, okay, no interest in working for God. He's a liar. He uses, you know, uh, uh, scripture and he has nothing to stand on. Scripture, he says, doesn't even mean nothing. And again, innocent Jews are paying for it. It's not only people in Gaza. It's everybody in Israel who is in danger. And okay, you know, these people go in because they were trained. And I also heard that, you know, in the Israeli army, people, are, these boys and girls are being brainwashed to believe they're doing the right thing. Do they have a choice? They are made. I don't know. But I think this whole situation is very complicated and we need to understand how it is related instead of uh, misinterpreting in times. <laughs> Israel is the beast. That is such a, a... I mean, how can anybody, you know, trust this guy? I don't know. I have no idea. But somebody can trust this guy. For saying such nonsense. I'm coming to an end. People, if you have more uh, questions about who this beast system is, Antichrist, please look at my playlist. I've done a lot of videos, Bible study, about this end times, these end times players. And I'm not guessing around. I'm not interpreting. I'm simply people looking at the facts. And the facts can be checked with history. We're at the end of humankind. And we can see exactly how these things fit in human history. It's historical. Can invent something. Anyways, please stick with the truth and let the Holy Spirit guide you.